hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to create the guardian entity so that we can relate it with the student the reason i want to bring this entity is i wanted to show you the filaments relationship manager what this does is it allows you to kind of you know get that relation of one entity related to another and then create the cruds based on you know this relation now the school application in itself is a, an interesting one because you know there are so many reserved keywords that it was really difficult for me to name things for example i didn't have class as i mean i couldn't create a entity called class because the name class is already a reserved keyword so i can't have a model called class so we used standard and the second interesting part was i wanted to have an entity called parents but obviously parent is a reserved keyword so i couldn't use that and so in this uh, application what i decided to do was use guardian because obviously i can't use parent and you know the model will not be created so these are the four um i would say uh, tasks that we are going to do we are going to first create the migration the model and the fa factory for the guardians and then we will see how we can you know uh, create an enum which will help us set the relation type inside you know for individual guardians and then we'll put the relations between the student and the guardian and seed some data so let's get started so I'll close all things out over here and then inside my terminal the first thing that i will do is php artisan make model i'll need the migration factory and nothing else um, for <coughs> guardian right with that done let's first address the migration and this is going to be a belongs to many kind of a relationship because initially i was thinking of having you know student having multiple guardians but then i realized there will be um parents who have you know two or one or more kids right and at that point the relation will be kind of a belongs to many so we will create this table and also one more pivot table so that you know we get that relationship all right let me quickly stub this out all right so we have three fields over here the name the contact number and the relation type and the relation type i felt should be indexed so i have added that and now comes the pivot table which is the student and guardian relationship now laravel by convention tells you to keep the table name alphabetical which means if i am creating that pivot table it should be guardian underscore student all right so let's follow that i'll have table foreign id 4 and the first one will be student and the second one guardian itself and then we will add the drop table as well so that you know while we are refreshing our migrations and doing stuff like that we are you know, able to do that properly okay this is done let's quickly refresh our migration and see what we have so we have our new guardian table which is fine we have our guardian underscore student table as well so that's fine and we already had the students thing so nothing no problem there so what's the next step we create our i mean we set up our model let's just do that quickly so we have this over here i'll just run this code generation because no not the code generation generate helper code what it does is it reads the migrations and stuff now 
when I am working with my model, if I do fillable equals this array, right? If I type N, you can see it knows what are the columns that I am trying to work with. And this is really a great help. Okay, this is done. The model is set up. Now I need to create the factory. So why don't we do, okay, by the way, I don't need this. I don't need this. Uh, sorry, guardian factory name. Contact number again, straightforward faker phone number. And when it comes to relation type, what we can do is you know, what will be the relation types like? It will be father, mother, brother, sister, something like that. We want these specific values and what we can do one of the ways is create an enum class. So what I will try to do over here is there is a method in faker called random element. It takes values from an array. Now we would then want to have the enum give us the values in the form of an array, right? So how do we do that? Let's first create our enum. Okay, so we will call our enum as relation type. It's an enum namespace is, we have enums. So we'll do this and click okay. I have a folder called enums and then relation type, which is fine. Let's add a few cases father and once this is done I'll have to say that this enum is of type string okay one two all right these are done now this will give me and this is going to give me an enum class I can do cases for enum, I'll show you quickly. See, Tinker, and what's that app? Enums, relation type, cases. This gives me an array, but it has you no know, name and value, which doesn't work for me. So, how can I get that? There is something called as array column. Was it array columns or array column? single let me quickly check okay array column yeah so array column this is the array that i'm interested in and i'm interested in the value only so what will happen is it will give me this array so what i can definitely do is have a function over here called get values and let me create a static uh, thing over here because you know I'll be calling this inside the um, how do you say inside the filament resource classes which are typically static methods. So I'll keep this as static. Okay. Now I return array column as we saw relation type cases and value so in here we can do relation type get values okay and then the last one if i think right so we have created the factory this is done while creating the factory we created the enum relation type Add relation to the model. Yes, this is you know, kind of pending right now. So the first one which we will handle is let's close everything out. The student has many guardians. Okay, and this belongs to many guardian class like so. and do this and we'll go to this model as well and put the inverse
so this is done and now right now i'm saying these are students for a guardian and then guardians for a student right we may choose to change that because i can actually do here parents let's keep it like this if we feel that you know, there is some level of confusion we will check what to do about that okay so now let's go to seed because we want to seed some data we are already creating 10 students that's how the database is set up so why don't we also do has i think yes has um guardian class and no factory and then count three now obviously this is just going to create create some random relationships and because of that what sometimes happens is we get one student with the same relations like two fathers or three fathers even which is not the correct thing to do but for the sake of this you know, basic data we are you know, going to handle that all right um, we are refreshing our database this is done we have 30 guardians which is correct because if you look at our database cedar we have 10 students and each student has three guardians and over here we have 30 entries right so the basic relation is created we have you know this uh, how do i say you know, this basic um, mapping in place and we are able to create the data as well and in the next video we will see how filaments relationship manager helps us to show the list of guardians for one particular student and then allow us the ability to even manage the cruddy part of it in that same screen so that's about it guys if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel